Okay, this is a 2002 London Taxi LTI TX2 um, from Coventry, England. Do a quick walk around on the outside, and then I'll try to get some individual pictures. I'm not really good at this. Um, filming these things. Still have my tag on there from Nova Scotia. <laughs> I had it in Nova Scotia. Uh, my daughter and I was there with it. Drove it 23 hours and 50 minutes straight. Come back. And it was Fahrenheit minus 26 degrees. And this thing just ran like a champ. We were going into like a blizzard and all kinds of snow. In fact, let me show you what happened in New York. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Right there. The graphics. Uh, I hit a bank of snow going in just before going into a tunnel. And it just ripped that right off. Uh, busted my hubcap off. And uh, oh, made me sick. <laughs> but it uh, didn't tear up the car or any. Uh, as you can see, it's... It was used in that London um, advertising for the Lyceum Theater. It was used as a taxi by Ann Scott. Let's see if I can show you. Ann Scott Cab Company. And I have Virginia matching tags uh, to match that license number. My tags say uh, LV52NDX on my Virginia license plate. Um, let me try to show some rust. I don't want to deceive anybody, but right there is some surface rust. Um, so there is that. And then down here is probably um, the worst of the graphics, I guessed. Uh, it's coming off a little bit and there is some rust behind that let me try to show you the, right there 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 I think there's some rust yeah feels like the rust right there there's a, you can see a little surface rust right there too um, and the same along here uh, again I want to try to show the worst possible spot so I don't deceive anybody or waste anybody's time that might be interested in it and there's a little bit of rust right there at the bottom of that door. And let's see, maybe a little bit right there under the graphics. So, um, and you can see it's like the stuff's bubbling up a little bit. So the graphics really should be replaced. Uh, oh, and then uh, this right here. Been like that since I've had it, kind of bubbled up a little bit. Um, and same with right there, I think moisture gets underneath there and does that. But there's a place in Greensboro, North Carolina, that has all the parts for these. They, they bought, uh, I guess, they bought out the company and uh, that have all these parts in North America. So I'm gonna try to show you, I'm trying to do this with one hand and show you the, the trunk. There is a spot in the trunk that I saw that I wanted to point out. Right there in the trunk. And there's actually a little hole through there. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit of a hole through there, but um, that should be addressed. Um, oh, that's for the antenna. Uh, but this this is the trunk. They're very, very small. They'll hold a lady's purse, maybe. Well, maybe not my wife's. But maybe the average woman. They'll hold her purse. And maybe a man's wallet. But not much more than that, really. Um, so this is... These are the straps for when you use the wheelchair. I haven't taken any of this out. And, and I really don't want to take it out because... Looks like they got it in there pretty good and I don't want to disrupt that. But this is the ramp that, according to the book, it's for the wheelchair. If your curb's too, if it's too low, 
I think, then you then you can use this um, auxiliary ramp. So that's that's the only purpose of that. I'm gonna try to do this without shutting off this video because I want to put it on YouTube and I don't know how to edit and do all that stuff. <clears throat> but I want to try to show inside, show all that I can. Um, the inside is really nice. Um, and then right there it has a, a door that slides back and forth and, can, and it can be locked from inside and for privacy. And then they have speakers in here somewhere where the uh, driver can turn on the microphone and talk to people in the back and uh, they can hear each other. Somehow, I've never done this, but this seat is supposed to go up. I've never never done it <clears throat> so I have to oh there's a thing right there oh for opening that up I guess somebody help me uh, but that that seat goes up it's in the book <sighs> it goes up and the seat belt holds it up and then for, this is for the wheelchair now and then that seat there swings out from from the right side will swing out over here to the left um, and to get the wheelchair ramp down you, you have to take this out it's the strap that holds the door you just rotate that let's see oh, let me. oh there we go there we go pull that down see it's it's, it's keyed it's got a little key there and then it's got that right there that goes into that and then you turn it 90 degrees and it locks it into place so you push the door open you unscrew this I already did it um, let me put that in my pocket so I don't lose it then you just lift and pull the ramp down and and there's the wheelchair ramp. So that's how you do that. And then it just goes back up. It's just real easy. Let me right, mess with that later. Uh, I had this seat put in. This was uh, this was the luggage compartment. But I had it put in so my daughter could uh, ride with me in Canada and stuff and not have to be in the back. So, you know, it's got a little glove box. Oh, no, this, I got to show you this. These, these are controls for the, like, the back windows and stuff. But let me show you this. Use it for a hat rack. That right there is a knob that you, you pull it forward. And when you do, let me go ahead and do it now. There, just pull it. Um, what that does is it releases this seat so that this seat will swing out for, uh, for the uh, wheelchair to go in there. So, I don't know if I'm... How well this is going to show up so that's how that's how you release that and you just push it back and of course these seats fold down they're jump seats that one too sorry about all this if you get motion sick like i do i apologize because uh, like i said i'm not very good at this and my daughter and is out of town Otherwise, she'd be helping me. Um, so, I'm going to put that back on my little, my little hat rack. Alright, let's uh, go around. And I'm going to pop the hood. Oh, well, I'm here. This is the fire extinguisher came with it. Apparently in Europe they're mandatory. Um, in Asia they are too. Um, 
I'm trying to see if there's anything that you might want to see that I didn't show you. So I just looked at the odometer and it has something like 100,721 miles on it or something like that. Oh, this goes up and put that up. This armrest. And there's a little cubby. Ah! A little cubby there. Okay, I got this. Oh, here's the controls for the speaker. Uh, the cassette player, the cassette works in this. Um, Bear with me for a minute. I'm going to try to get this open. I think I set it down. Now you can go ahead and give it a thumbs down on this video. And I'll be right there with you. I'll, I'll give it a thumbs down too because it's got to be probably one of the worst videos on YouTube. Um, again, I apologize for that. Now, it does have an air compressor, and I want to try to show you this up close. It, notice it does not have a belt on it. I was told by the liar that I bought it from, I mean, from the guy that I bought it from, that it works. But I really, I can't believe a word he says, so I don't know if it really works or not. My guess is that it might, but that they probably took the belt off of it because these things only have 88 horsepower. And if you don't need the air conditioning, then it, it's worth the extra power for, to take the belt off and, and get that. So, anyway, so, yeah, so I've got this uh, up for sale for $16,995, the new Apple price. And uh, got a new battery. So, we get there. Uh, it's been a great car. Great car. We're selling it. We're going to use the money to uh, for a coffee business, a mobile coffee business that we're going to start. And there's a little bit of graphics there that might have a little rust behind it. Uh, and again, here, here's these around the windows, the um, where it's bubbling up or something it doesn't leak or anything it seems to be it on all the windows though so and it's right where moisture collects so um again they can be replaced it's the guy in uh, let's see i think it's london taxis parts usa in greensboro north carolina is the one that has all the parts for it anyway that's it again i apologize for the video give it a thumbs down and, uh, i hope you enjoyed it